In John 3, verses 22 to 36, John teaches us more about who Jesus is. Here's what he says. Since Jesus was always above humanity as deity, even as a human, he is still above humanity as deity. His status and identity were always as God, and nothing can ever change that, even the Incarnation. See, humans are locked into humanity and cannot reveal the whole of spiritual truth, let alone become divine. For spiritual truth, we must access the source of spiritual truth, God himself as revealed in Jesus. Jesus is the only one who truly knows and comprehends all spiritual truth and reality, and he is the only one who can communicate it flawlessly. Oddly enough, that's not good enough for, for lots of people. There are many people who hear these spiritual truths and reject them, as John 1.11 says. But it is possible to hear and accept them, as John 1.12 says. And there are plenty of people with that capacity to discern. You see, discerning spiritual truth has nothing to do with how smart you are or what education you've had, your, your social status or your religious practices, but instead with your spiritual discernment. The truth is available to all who properly discern. Jesus is the one whom we can both trust and believe about spiritual insight and truths because he is God incarnated. His words are true, and they have divine authority for all humans. The Trinity is at work here. God the Spirit completely fills God the Son, and God the Father sent the Spirit-filled Son to humanity to redeem them from sin and death. They are all involved in granting life and bringing as many people to heaven as will come. The Father has done this because he is love. And his love for God the Son grants to Jesus all divine truth and authority. So listen to whatever Jesus, the Son of God, says and give your life to him. If you want a relationship with God, come to Jesus. He is the only proper target for your attention, trust, and devotion. Anyone who aligns with Jesus will be granted the gift of eternal life. And if you will do this, the result is final life instead of final loss. You will overcome death by resurrection into life. God's primary desire and the fulfillment of his love and actions is to give life as the ultimate expression of who he is and what you were meant to have. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit have this life in himself, and now so can you. Believe, receive, and align yourself with Jesus. But if you reject the Son, you reject life, and the only alternative to that is non-life, or death, or separation from God. See, God is not choosing to judge you. You are choosing against God. You are the one who is rejecting him. And so you will be separated from God by your own selection. It's the only alternative. You don't want him. And if you don't want life, then non-life is what you choose. You put yourself in a position of opposition against God's holy nature and in alienation from him, and you will reap the consequences of that decision and action. 